everyone. It is time for another Sunday sip. I'm going to try to get you out of the frame of my backdrop here. I might have to drop the, the uh, shine down a little bit because it's coming in. The light is coming in from both angles because it's a bright sunny day today welcome and hello everybody i am going to get this party started quickly right <laughs> hang on just one second let me tone it down is that helpful a little a little what's helping even more shifting it over hello everybody we're back and we are live on, again, both my Instagram, I'm sorry, not Instagram, my Facebook people. Yes. Hi, Facebook people. <laughs> I'm like, where am I? Where am I? Okay. So we are live on Facebook and we are live on YouTube. I am your hostess with the mostest brown girl, Bella. Today, we're going to do another trend to try. This time, we're going to be doing minimum makeup. So that is a aesthetic that has been around for a long time. So we're going to jump into it. I'm going to explain more about what it is. But first, you know what we got to do. We got to welcome everybody here who is in the house. And you know how we do that? We do that with a little music. So let me play that. Look at there, and it started right on time. Look at that. Sometimes Brown Girl Bella, she be working on all angles, and it be doing what it's supposed to do. <laughs> all right, let's welcome everybody in. Who we got in the house today? Newbie in the house, Dragon Sasori. Hello, happy life. Good morning. God bless us. Yes, happy Palm Sunday to those who celebrate. Happy Palm Sunday, everybody. I love it. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hey, party music. DJ Aki's in the house. Welcome in. So nice to have you again, DJ Aki. You know you're my guy. I love it. Thank you so much for coming. Lori, there's my beautiful babe. How are you? Hope you're feeling better. Soror, hello, this beach is better or beachy. That's my Soror and brigade member. Welcome in. I love it. Nice to be here. Thank you so much. <laughs> Just like a movie, the opening. Okay. We hope it's like a movie. <laughs> we hope so. Oh, you stole my channel for mercy. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mercy. Yes, come on, DJ Aki's in the house. He is a member of the Bella Brigade. There's my other sissy. Hey, AT Grace. Hello. How are you? Hope you're having a good day. Yes, no problem. Thank you for coming. Welcome in. Welcome in. Yes. Hello. Hello, my babe. Babes are in the building. Welcome in. Welcome in, y'all. <laughs> Nobody will kick you out. Hang on a second. I think this is working now. So let's try it out. For those who are members of the house, meaning you have clicked that subscribe button and you tap that notification bell for notifications try to drop exclamation point hey bella and that should release your channel hopefully we'll see because you know sometimes night might be messing up they be messing up <laughs> Hey, professional podcast, the positive professional podcast. Hello, babes. Thank you so much for coming. Uh-oh. Well, it does say your name, but I don't know why it's not dropping your ID. <laughs> it's not dropping your ID. You got to wait a few minutes um, 
to say it. So it's not dropping it. Dang it, dang it. All right, we're going to figure that out. We're going to figure that out today. All right, so that's not working. So we're going to take that banner off. For some reason, it's not working. Boo. <laughs> All right, babes, we'll get it working. You know, night spot be pissing me off. Thank you so much. This is a uh, sweatshirt from my store. Brown Girl Bella has the lips and everything. You can get it with or without the lips and also with other things as well. So if you like it, don't forget to um, check out my store. Thank you. Welcome in, everybody. Aww. Yeah, it's not working. The positive professional. I'll get it working. I'll get it working. Nightbot is pissing me off because he's not doing. Oh, you do see the channel drops. Do you? Because I don't see it. Let me see. Yeah, no, it's not giving you DJ Aki. It's just saying his name, but it's not giving you his link for some reason. Ah! Boo, boo, boo. All right, guys, let's get started with the trends to try. Hang on a second. Let me see. We can always do it the old fashioned way. We can, you know, just make friends within the chat. Hang on. A okay, perfect. If I'm saying right here, no glare. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Lori, are you, um, are you a mod? I can make you a mod and you can help me drop some links if you would be so kind. Let me know if you want to do that before I do that, because I don't want to make you a mod if you don't want to drop links. And it's okay. I never really ask people to do that. But since there are people in here who want to connect with each other, just make sure when you're connecting, you're doing it the right way. Watch something of theirs, whether it's a short or a short video, comment about the video, and then go ahead and click that subscribe button. And don't forget to tap that notification bell as well. If you like what you see, and if you like what you see here, you can do the same thing. All right, so here is the makeup trend to try. This is called minimum makeup. So minimum makeup is like a no makeup makeup. It's actually been a trend for years. And now in 2023, we're taking it a step further with kind of barely their makeup. Um, nowadays, you know, people don't want caked on makeup. They want their makeup to look like their own skin and just not a bunch of heavy products. So when doing this trend, you want to look for lightweight concealers, lightweight foundations, you can have it in a radiant finish, or you can have it in a dewy or matte finish. It's whatever your preference is. And I'm going to show you. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much, baby. Thank you. Gracias, mi amor. Lori says she will drop links for me. So I am adding her. Thank you so much, Lori. I appreciate that. You've been a babe for years and so wonderful to me. So Thank you. And uh, ATA Grace, you can help me too. Thank you so much, Sissy. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So here we go. I'm going to start off with concealer because that is the one place where I think everybody can agree. It helps you not only combat anything that you're trying to uh, camouflage, whether it is like me, little darkness underneath the eyes, or you have some hyperpigmentation, whatever it is that you want to conceal, guess what? That's why they call it concealer, because that's what the job does. So I use LYS. It is a triple fix. It is a full coverage concealer, which means you can use this all over the face. And it will give you a full coverage like 
a foundation would. Hey, Elevate with Burns is in the house. Welcome. I'm going to start with a couple of dots on my under eye. And I'm going to do it one at a time so you can really see the benefits to using concealer all over. So here we go. We're going to just use our concealer brush. And this is a jumbo concealer brush from Sonia G. Y'all know I love Sonia G's products. And this is going to give me that coverage that I want underneath my eye. See? I'm going to do the same with the other eye. Again, start off with a little bit at a time and then work the product in to the skin with your brush or with your fingers. You can use a synthetic brush, natural hair brush. You know, on this channel, I use a lot of natural hair brushes, but you can certainly use a synthetic brush with this product as well. And as you all know, I am an LYS affiliate. I am part of their confidence crew. So if you want to take advantage of my discount, which is 20% off, you can do that at LYSBGB296. I'm going to put it in the chat as well. And it's LYS Beauty. You can do it on their website. So it's LYS BGB 296 for 20% off. And that is all of the products except anything that is already discounted. All right. And then what you can do is you can use this all over the face, but I'm going to show you using my Laura Mercier. This is a tinted moisturizer. You can use this as well. Yes, it is a great discount, right, Lori? And all of their products, just so you know, are under $30. Every single product on that website is under $30. So under $30, plus you're getting 20% off. That's a great deal for those who are looking for new products. And that is on LYS Beauty. Yeah, this is fabulous, right? Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. This is a natural skin perfector, has broad spectrum SPF 30, which provides you a little bit of sun care as well. I'm going to use just that one dot. And we're going to put that all over the face. And I'm going to use my mini face brush by Sonia G. Again, if you want to use your concealer for this step, you absolutely can. I'm going to put some underneath the eye as well. Just helps to make everything even. And I love the coverage it provides as well underneath there. I also dab a little bit on the eyelid. And as you can see, it blends into the skin really well, but it gives you that look that is skin-like and flawless. Hello, Dominant Man. Welcome in. Thank you so much for coming. Appreciate you. All right, so as you can see, again, skin-like coverage and it wears really nicely all day. You don't have to reapply this moisturizer even though it is lightweight. It will hold you through the day. I've used this all day as my kind of everyday on the go product. And it works really, really well.
And as you can see, skin-like and flawless. I'm gonna add another layer of concealer just underneath the eye again for a little bit of added brightness. Going back with that concealer brush, we're just going to dab it in. Now in all sincerity, you can really stop here. You don't even have to add more. I wanted to, cause I just want a little bit more brightness underneath the eye. It is very lightweight and it's not even a foundation. It is a tinted moisturizer. The difference between a tinted moisturizer and a foundation, a typical foundation is in the ingredients. So the ingredients here are going to be very lightweight. They're going to be easy to apply. It's not going to provide you heavy duty coverage. So if you have a lot of hyperpigmentation or just bad skin, I would suggest that you go in with something a little heavier than this because all of that will show up. So for me, I have a little bit of freckles on my nose. I don't really have any uh, hyperpigmentation on my skin, but if I did like have any blemishes or things like that, it would show up on this moisturizer. So what I love about this, and this is in the shade Walnut. So if you are a shade match to me, Walnut is going to be your girl. Um, I love this for the coverage and the fact that it is lightweight. Yes, uh, that's a good point too, Lori. You can use your fingers to apply. I'm not really a finger girl, although I love Pat McGrath for doing that. She She's the one that like always uses her fingers. She's like, this is my best uh, makeup brushes right here are my fingers, but I don't like to get like product in my nails and all that stuff, but going out, running errands, you want something a little lightweight that has a little bit of sun protection too. Although I do suggest you get a typical sunscreen for any type of sun protection. This is going to be your girl. This is black girl sunscreen. You don't have to be a black girl to use it. It works for everybody. The reason why they um, call it black girl sunscreen, aside from the fact that it's made by a black girl, is that it has ingredients in here that will not show a white cast on your skin. So as you know, a lot of sunscreens have that zinc oxide in it, which when you apply it to faces that have melanin in it, uh, it does give a white or grayish cast to your face. Now, if you don't mind that because you're going to put on foundation, that is fine. But if you do, trust me, you want something that does not have zinc oxide in it. So definitely use that. He <laughs> says, yep, we are nuts. <laughs> I know, I know, I don't, yeah, it would drive me, it would drive me insane to, to do that, so I don't, but you can if you want, you can if you want. Again, you can stop here, you can add your uh, brow product, I am going to use my Dior, you guys know I love this, and with the Sephora sale coming up, you know I'm going to get another one because this one is almost done. And I have been using it very sparingly because I know it's almost done and I don't want it to finish before the Sephora sale comes on because you know I got to get some more. <laughs> I love this. This is in the shade Dark Brown. And I was thinking about getting another color, like a deeper color, but I may be coloring my hair for the summer. Think about going a little lighter. 
So if I do, I will keep this color. So maybe I'll get two. I don't know. Which brand was the eye gel? You mean this? This is Dior Onset Brow in dark brown. This is the eyebrow gel. <laughs> Sorry, did I say eye gel? I meant eyebrow gel. Oop. Got a little bit too much product on there. I need to get it back in the bottle because it's not time yet for all of this product to go. All right. And if you like that messy brow look, you can always flick it up to have that kind of bushy brow look. My brows are actually getting a little longer. So I was like, oh, I can actually utilize the bushy brow look. So what you do with that is you just flick the hairs up and it becomes like a little bushy and a little messy. You can tap it off with a clear brow gel if you want, but this is just fine for me. So I have like the little bushy brow look. Look at me having some brows. <laughs> look at me having some brows. Again, you can stop here, but for the purposes of being dramatic, I want to move forward. I'm going to use a cream blush for my blush. And I'm not going to use any bronzer because, again, we want this no makeup makeup look. And when we do any cream products or any cheek products, we really want to keep it minimum to just have a little pop of color. So I'm just going to punch this into the cheeks. And again, it's supposed to give you a flushed look. And for this product, I'm using the Fenty, which I had hoped was a little bit more pigmented than this when I first got it. But for the purposes of the no makeup makeup look, this is absolutely perfect. This is called Fuego Flush. I got it in a small size because I think I kind of knew my sixth sense was on that uh, this is probably not going to be very pigmented. And it wasn't. <laughs> but again, it will give you a nice little pop of color for those who, like I said, want to keep the look really minimum and really... like barely there. Like if you come up on me, you'll see, oh, wow, she has a little bit of makeup on. But from far away, you want it to just look like skin plus, right? Like, wow, she has beautiful skin plus. Looks like she's got a little something going on there. <laughs> so that's what you want. Again, you can stop here or... You can continue going on. So what I want to do, because you know, I like to put it on. <laughs> hey, Juanita, welcome in. Thank you so much. She says it looks nice. Thank you. All right. So we're going to put a little bit of highlight on. And again, you can stop here. This is perfectly good but again then the video would be 30 minutes long we want to put it on so i'm going to go in with the bomb side and i'm going to take my finger yeah my finger one of the only times i do that and right in the place where you're highlighted that's where the sun naturally hits your face look at that we just want to put a little clear right there, right there. This is a balm that really, this is from Pat McGrath, by the way. 
But this is a bomb that really like doesn't get enough play. I love this for the summertime. Again, for those barely there, barely noticeable looks. You want to just pop it on really subtle. Look at that. No color, just clear, but it picks up the sun's rays when you're turning to the light and it just highlights the skin so nicely. Again, you want this to look like you put no effort in it at all. And you want to be very precise and deliberate with your placement because again, the goal here is to look as flawless and skin-like as possible. I'm doing well, Dominant Man. Thank you so much. How are you doing? Thank you so much for asking. I so appreciate you. All right. You don't want makeup. No, today is talking about minimum makeup. Um, dominant man. So we're going to keep the skin as the focal point. <laughs> That's the point. Keeping the skin as the focal point. And everything else is just playing in the background. The skin is in for 2023. The skin is in. If you want to put on eyeshadow, you know I do. You can put a one and done shade on. You can leave it bare if you want. Whatever you do, it's perfectly up to you. It's fine. I'm going to put something with a little bit of radiance to it. But before I do that, I'm going to go back to my powder. This is a powder by Charlotte Tilbury. As you can see, I hit pan on it because I love it a lot. And I just put a little bit underneath my eye. And then what is left over, I just put it right on my crease. Just to make sure that once I put the eyeshadow on, the coverage is there without any creasing. So there you go. Ah, thank you so much, Dominant Man. I appreciate that. All right, so we're going to go in now with a product by Victoria Beckham. I don't know if I promoted Victoria Beckham's shades on here, but she has a line called Lid Lusters. I have two of them, and I got them a few months ago, maybe even last year sometime. Yeah, it definitely was last year sometime. And what I love about these are the shades. This one right here is called Honey. And using my Repper brush number 32, I just dab it into the product. And this product, you know, it gets a little hard pan. So you have to really press it in with this, which... um. She puts it in. It's just like a little lid covering so it doesn't get too dried out. But I put that much on my brush. And I just wipe it over the lid. Again, the goal here is to look like you didn't do a thing. But you did. But you did. And so there is the lid luster in the shade Honey using the refer number 32. I'm just going to put this all over the lid and be really light with my placement. As I punch it through the lid. So you want to just look like the sun is just glistening on your eyelids. Very light as I punch it in. And there we go. We're going to do the same to the other eye. And 
And again, I swipe it on first to get the placement where I want it, which is all over the lid. And then once I have it where I want it, I'll just go in and punch it in with the brush in the places where I want a little bit more emphasis because again, the goal here is to look like a little gilded princess. You know, this is perfect for if you are traveling and you know, you just want a little something, but you don't want to look totally made up during the day or if you're going brunch with the girls, whatever um, you're doing that calls for a really light hand in the makeup, this is perfect. And then we're gonna follow with mascara. First, I'm gonna use my mascara primer. This is by Dior. This is a 3D maximizer. And this just preps the lashes for mascara. Hey, Dylan, welcome in. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Thanks for hitting that like bell. And you can also share me out. That would be appreciated. So this is the job of mascara primer. Protect your lashes from mascara and to get a further extension of your lashes so that once you put the mascara on, it just heightens the extension. I'm gonna use my YSL, this is a new product. Ah, oh, you're from Mexico. Bienvenido a mi channel. Bienvenidos. For the Lash Clash, let me tell you, because it's a tricky product to use. So let me show you how to use this mascara because it's beautiful, but it's a little tricky. It's a little learning curve. So with this mascara, you want to start at the base of your lashes and just go straight up. You don't want to wiggle this because it will get clumpy and not in a good way. So you want to just start at the base and go straight up. Do it in sections so you have the most control. And there you go. You can do the same with the lower lashes. Again, light hand, work in sections, go from root to tip. And there we go. Same thing on the other side. Take your time. You want that full extension of your mascara. Hey, welcome in. I'm a Hello. Thank you so much for coming over. I appreciate you. There we go. Full extension. There we go. For added volume, you can go in with any tubing mascara that gives you a little bit more lift for those who want a little bit more ba 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 boom, a little bit more action, a little bit more of those wispy lashes. You're just gonna take a tubing mascara, any tubing mascara, and you're just gonna flick it 
at the top. So that you get more fibers at the very tips of your lashes, which will make them look even longer and more wispy. There we go. And I showed you guys this trick last week when we talked about wispy lashes, which is also a 2023 trend to try. So I'm going to be taking a trend to try every Sunday until we go through all the trends and show you how you can make them your own. And like I said, if you just want the flawless skin, you can stop with the foundation. If you want to incorporate the wispy lash, which we talked about last week. Here's how to do that. Look at that extension. And these are all yours. And you want to pick a tubing mascara that is smudge proof. That is waterproof. Because you know, we glisten in the summer. <laughs> we glisten and we glow. <laughs> hey, Enamored Beauty, welcome in. Thank you so much for coming. So that is it. Now, for the lips, here's what we can do for the lips. You can do lip balm. That's always my go-to of choice when I don't want to put anything on my lips. Perfect. No must, no fuss. You can go here and just stop. Or you can take, let's see, you can take a lip oil. And I have some by Dior. You can use any lip oil you like. And you can do a lip oil. Just put that on. It will have. Here you go. I'll put it on for you to see. Little bit of color. Whole lot of shine. Look at that. Perfect to go out. Vacation. Brunch with the girls. Quick movie. Whatever you like. Done. No muss, no fuss. I love it too. And every beauty said I love that lip oil. I love it too. This one is Dior and it is in the shade... 100 no 001 which is pink pink 001 that's this lip oil I also have it in an orange so that is the orange I'm almost out of the orange one and then that one is 004 and it's called coral so you can use that and then they have deeper berry shades that I freaking love Talk about high pigment, high shine. That berry one is it's coming home with me. It's coming home with me. I'm going to probably get it during the Sephora sale as well because this just, it just does it for me. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, it's real. I love this lip oil. So I definitely want to get more. And they have a berry shade and I think they have another one as well. Um, and I can't remember what that shade is, but that berry shade is beautiful. Hey, sissy. Hey, Sharon. All my beauties are in here. I love it. Yay. Good, good, good. Everybody saying hello to everybody. I love it. Yay. <laughs> Doing good. Back from vacation. Oh, good. I'm glad you're back from vacation. I need to go on one because I, I need a vacation. I need a vacation badly, 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 badly. All right. So we talked about wispy lashes last week. 
Um, and we also talked a little bit about the 90s makeup look, which that is going to be the next trend that we're going to try next week. It is the 90s, but it's plussed up. So we're talking those rich, warm brown shades that we love back in the day, but now it's going to be elevated that much more. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. It is one of my favorite trends next to minimum makeup to try because again, it incorporates some of the favorite things that I love, which is those smoky um, eyes, those deep chocolate lips, the liner that's a little bit exaggerated. We're, we're going to have a lot of fun with that. <laughs> yes, I love a 90s look too, sis. I really do. And um, the fact that, you know, all of these things are coming back. I mean, really, this is the best time. The spring is in and these looks are fantastic. We're also going to be trying um, underpainting. Uh, that will be coming up in the coming weeks. That's going to be fun. We're going to do some cool tone eyes because that is also in. Um, we're talking dusty mauves, blush pinks, smoky grays. And I have some really fun, fun, fun colors in those hues that I can't wait to try with you all. Um, we're also going to be doing those siren eyes. Yes, siren eyes are still here. I know we dabble into it a little bit in the winter time, but now it's still back in uh, the spring. And it probably will hold through to the summer too, because those cut creases with the eyes and the double liners, Oh my God, they're still all the rage. So we're going to do a little bit of that as well. And um, mid-tone blushing, um, that is a technique that uses your blush and your under eye makeup for like a seamless finish. That's going to be some fun. Um, and then, you know, we're also going to be, you know, dabbling more into those shimmery cheekbones and a whole lot more. So make sure you keep it locked and loaded every Sunday for Sunday Sips, where we're going to take a look at all of these different trends to try. Underpainting, right? I love that too, because it also has a little bit of that minimum makeup look as well, because you're basically putting on all of your products before you put on your foundation, your concealer and all of that. So that is a lot of fun. And yeah, I am going to have a field day with that one because I love underpainting as well. That's a great trend to try. Um, I'm going to take the lip oil off because I am going to show you how to add a pop of color. If you'd like, you want to keep this makeup look. Let's say you want to go out to eat later on, but you don't want to pile more makeup on. You just want to add to what you already have for a nighttime look. Let me show you how to do that. So first and foremost, you're going to grab one of your favorite blushes. Now, it doesn't have to be really bold, but you want it to pop a little bit more than what you have currently going on. So you can try a cream, but I am actually going to layer on a powder on top of this. And where is it? I think it is, is it this one. No, no, no. I'm trying to think where my blush is that I wanted to use. <laughs> Here it is. All right. So in keeping with the same family, oh, no problem, Lori. Thank you so much for coming. Have a great day and happy Palm Sunday, everyone, in case I did not mention that. Oops, wrong one. In case I didn't mention that, happy Palm Sunday to all. Here we go. So I'm going to take the Dior. This is something that I grabbed last year during the fall this is part of their fall collection birds of a feather and this was rouge number 462 like i said from their birds of a feather collection 
and this is a beautiful coral color. And as you can see, it has a little bit of sheen to it as well, which is perfect if you want to punch up what you already did in the morning. And you just want to add a little bit more color, but you want to keep the kind of neutralness and the barely there makeup, no makeup look. I'm going to take a brush. This is my number 19 from Ruffer. And we're going to load up our brush, right? And we're going to just start punching it through. And as you can see, it does pick up the pigment rather nicely. And just deposits that little hint of color. So you don't load it up all the way, but you get it so that you can at least see it on the brush. And you just use that product all throughout your cheek. And you can bring it a little higher too, because again, you want this to be your focal point. This skin is in, baby. There we go. Look at that. We're going to do the other side now just to the point where it's on the brush and then you just punch it through. That's it. Bring it all the way up because this year is all about the blush, honey. It is all about the blush. It's all about the bronzer. And I also have a sit down video. We're going to be talking about Pat McGrath and her new bronzers, I did order two. So we're gonna show you those when it comes. I ordered it last week and I also ordered that eyeshadow quad. So we're gonna be looking at that. So for the future on Mondays, we McGrath. That's gonna be back which I'm now making like a monthly series. I'm not going to do it every Monday, but it will launch on a Monday. Look at that. So pretty, so pretty. And of course, you've been running around all day and honey, you're a little dewy. So we've got to, you know, calm down some of this dewiness, right, for the evening. So we take a big fluffy brush, something like this. This is also a rougher brush. This is the number 22. And I'm going to take Fenty Beauty's Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation in the shade 390. So if you're a shade match to me, that's where we're going, 390. And we're going to take just what I put on the brush and punch it all throughout the face. And especially in places where you got that dew, that glow, we want to buff it into the skin because we don't want that powder to settle just in one place. We want it to float all throughout the face. That's what we want to do. Hey, Juanita, I see you came in here. Hello, beautiful. Welcome in. Yes, we want that face to look fresh and natural. Like, babe, did you put makeup on? No, it's just my skin. <laughs> it's just my skin. It's just me. Look at that, ladies and gents. Skin, baby. It's all about the skin. <laughs> hey, Gary, welcome in. Thank you so much for coming. How you doing? All right. So this is evening, right? So we want to play up that drama, baby. We want some lipstick. One of my favorites is by Pat McGrath. This is Elson number two. And this is a reddish orange shade. Perfect for the summer because it gives you a little hint of drama. And if you put it on on top of the lip oil, it gives you a little shine too. Put 
Press and pucker. And you just, there we go. Look at that. Does not, not, not scream summer, spring, freshness, newness, sunlight, and beauty. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Hello. Hello. Hey, Jen in the U.S. blogs. Hello. Thank you so much for coming as well. Hey, Sugar Love. There's my girl. Hey, sweetie. Welcome in. Welcome in. So I just put together this full look. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for coming. Points blank experience. Thank you. Welcome in. Welcome in. Um, I will be doing a judging on um, someone else's channel. I'm going to put all the details on my community board, but it's tonight at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I will be judging with um, Points Blank Experience. Um, it's a DJ battle or producer battle. We're battling beats. So we're judging the beats. So if you want to come hear some good music, see me judge um, along with Points Blank Experience, come and hang out with us. It's going to be great fun. Hey, I am Betty J. Hi, Betty J. Gathers. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming to your first live. Um, we just finished one of the trends to try for 2023. This is the no makeup makeup look. This is the evening look. For the day look, I suggest you rewind so you can get that as well. Yes. <laughs> Sugar said, I'm late for class. <laughs> I know, I know. Guys, I did a live with Sugar last week, Thursday for Bella After Dark. It was a welcome to the queendom where we welcome Sugar Love and we took some hot topics and, you know, we got we dissected some hot topics. We talked about um, the escape battle between the two sisters. We talked about Jonathan Majors and a whole lot more. So I suggest you go back and look at it. It is a very long live, much longer than I like to have them. But if you got a few hours to kill, go check out the first half, come back, check out the second half, you know, go grab your snack in between. <laughs> And uh, check it out. It's a really, really fun, fun live. PBE says, what's good to everybody in the chat? Aw, hearts. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, PBE from Sharon. Sugar, hey, love. Hey, sis, much love. Yes, hello to everybody in. Noise. Yeah, it was a long one, but it was good. <laughs> sunshine in Florida. Oh, give me some of that sunshine, Betty, please. Bring it on over here. I need some. Um, it's sunny, but it's cold. So I need that that heat, that Florida heat, along with the, the sun. <laughs> oh, I need to say good afternoon to sugar. I love it. I love it. Food prep. Yes, that's perfect for food prep. Food prep and listen to this. Okay. So this week, let me tell you something else that's going on this week. So this week, we got a lot for you. Um, I owe you my February faves. I know it's late, mad late. Um, but it's having problems with my video and my audio. So it was just not a good look. So I am going to do the February monthly favorites and then the March monthly favorites, which are two vastly different things because for March, I was dabbling in a lot of my 
old back in the day um, makeups that I love, 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 love. And although, although I love my newer brands, I got to tell you, I'm going to be dipping into the crates a little bit more this spring and summer because I put together some really fire looks using stuff that I've had in my collection. So don't sleep on your old products, ladies, as long as they're not too old and have gone bad. I would reuse them, especially now because everything old is new again. Everything that we've loved from back in the day, those styles, those makeup trends, they're all coming back. As you can see, I'm even doing a hair trend, which is a harken to the 50s, you know, with the little flip up bang and the little um, scarf on and then the high pony. That's what this is, babies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Perfect for those like me who are working out and needed to, you know, have something that's off the face that, you know, doesn't bother me while I'm working out, um, running on the treadmill or lifting weights, all of that good stuff. Um, and then I have a secret. I've been holding a secret from you guys and um, I wasn't going to release it, but I need to release it because it's, it's, it's starting to get to a critical mass point where I can't hold it any longer just because I'm just that excited about it. So tune in and see what that is. You might be surprised. Um, and then guess what else we have that I'm super excited about? We have a 4K giveaway, baby. 4K giveaway. I talked about it on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should. It's Brown Girl Bella. I'm Brown Girl Bella everywhere, baby. So everywhere you are, that's where I am. Brown Girl Bella, get into it. So I did post that and I am ready to, I'm ready to talk about it. I'm ready to share. I'm ready to share some of the prizes that you guys are going to have. So before I do, hold on for a moment. back. So in case you don't know, I hit 4K on this platform. I'm so excited about it. So excited that I've been squirreling away some really great treats for two, yes, two winners. And I'm going to be revealing some of the products that you will be definitely getting. So it is for one new subscriber and the other is going to be an existing subscriber on Brown Girl Bella. Now, this doesn't have to be necessarily paid membership. This also is just signing up and becoming a member of the channel. But I'm not going to make it easy for y'all. I'm not going to make it easy for y'all. You're going to have to search for the Easter eggs. So I've been hiding some Easter eggs in videos, videos that I've done previously, as well as videos that I am currently doing and will be posting this week. Inside those videos are going to be Easter eggs. You're going to have to see what the Easter egg is. Some of it will be visual. I will pop it up. And some of it will be verbal. So you're going to have to listen. You're going to have to watch because you don't know where the Easter egg is going to fall. But let me show you some things that will definitely be in the giveaways for both our winners. Hey, Miss Nikki, baby. Hey, honey. 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 Hey, hon
honey. Thank you so much for coming. That's my girl there. Welcome in. Welcome in. She's saying hi to everybody. Kazan, hi. Welcome in. Thank you so much for coming. I love it. All right, let's get to what some of these products are. So first and foremost, you're going to have some Brown Girl Bella merch, right? Got to have some Brown Girl Bella merch. One of the things that each of you are going to be getting is an eye mask. So this is a sleeping mask with my logo on it, Brown Girl Bella. It also has a little scrunchie in the back for my babe. So that is one of the gifts. Also, you know, I always put full size palettes into my giveaways. And this giveaway is no different. This time I did two palettes by. You ready? You ready? You ready? Natasha Denona. So this one is my dream palette. This is one of the latest ones that she came out with. I'm doing this one and I'm doing another Natasha Denona palette. So one person will receive this one. The other person will receive the other full size. I'm sorry, Natasha Denona palette. All right. You also know that last year I was a minted mommy. All right. So we're also going to have some minted cosmetics in there. This one is Red Hot and Bothered. This is a lip gloss. We also have the minted lip pencil. So we have those. And guys, remember I told you I love brushes, right? Refer brushes, which I've used throughout this video. I'm also giving my babes a refer brush. That's right. You both will receive a refer brush from me as well. So that is in there. Um, I also did some work with my derma and they have also given me some products to give away for my babes. I have the Ultimate Calming Normalizing Cream, and this does have CBD as well. And then I have the Ultimate Wrinkle Repair Night Cream with Pro Retinol. So one of you will get one of these products as well. Um, you also know last year I did some unboxing as part of my Bella Miss, which I do every December where I do unboxings of advent calendars. We do vlogs. And so one of the things that I loved, and I told you guys about this during Bella Miss, and I didn't forget, I got you. Joe Malone, and this is one of my favorite scents. This is the wood salt, wood sage and sea salt. It's one of my favorite fragrances. So each of my babes will be getting this as well. I treat my babes really nicely, don't I? <laughs> All right. And if that wasn't enough, I also tried in my Evan calendar, the OPI nail polishes. I have a shade on today opi and one of my favorite ones that i tried and i've been trying this for a long time is lincoln park after dark this is a nice plummy shade it's not black but it's a deep plum shade i wear this every year during the fall time but i also like to mix it up and use it during the summertime as well it makes the toes look so nice and if you want to use it on your fingers too beautiful so this is going to be in the giveaway as well and i also have the shade big red for those who love reds Mm-hmm. This is a hot color, perfect for spring, summer, fall, holidays, year round. Who can go wrong with a red, right? 
So nice. All right. So that is some of the stuff that you're going to be getting along with, you know, I always love to share my samples. So I will have a bunch of samples in each of the giveaway bags as well. This includes samples from Shantakai, Indy Lee, Kiehl's, Good Molecules, which you know I love to use from my face. Um, we have Caudalie and lots of other samples as well. So they're going to be loaded, loaded, loaded with a ton of stuff. And more will be announced next week as well. I have some other products that I'm going to be um, giving away in each of the bags as well. And, you know, there was something I did not say that, you know, I always include in my giveaways and my babes who have been with me for a long time know what I'm talking about. Starts with a P and ends with a McGrath. <laughs> Pat McGrath will always, always, always be a special part of my giveaways because, you know, I love her so. I love her so. I have a lot of her, as you can see, I have a lot of her lipsticks. I have all of her palettes. Um, she even came out with a new um, small palette. I have the other one that she did last year. Let me see what that is. Here it is. So this is the one that she did last year. This year's one is in a pink packaging. This one is purple. I love, love, love these little ones because, again, you can use them one at a time, especially for this one and done. Any one of these sparkle shades is perfect for a one and done. Or you can create a whole look with this mini palette. It's perfect for those who are going to be traveling over the summer and just want a little pop of color, but they don't want to travel with anything that might shift and break. This is perfect because you can pack it into your mini makeup bag and have it for those on the go touches with your makeup brush by Refer. And there you go. So... More to come, as I said, um, as we roll it out. And like I said, I still have that surprise for you that I will be sharing soon. So until next time, let's get our outgoing music because we're ready to roll on out of here. And like I said, I will be live tonight to judge the DJ battle along with Points Blank Experience. And... Uh, <laughs> Make sure you keep it locked and loaded here. That's it. Join me after this on Instagram. For those who are on Instagram, for after this, I'll be sharing a little bit more tea and also going over this mixed as well as some more of the upcoming lessons. So until then, you have now been bellified. Take care. Have a wonderful time Sunday. And I will see you soon.